Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dryder Matolo and we're here with another Grand Theft Auto V PC modding tutorial. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more daily gaming content and we're gonna get straight into the video. Welcome back guys, so this video is all about the executive business and we are going to install this executive business in our Grand Theft Auto V folder. But guys, just to let you know, to make sure that you download and install all the requirements that is inside my description, first and then download this mod. I will leave this mod inside my description below so make sure you guys do download it. And this mod has been released before I and I have already did a video about it before but this is for version 3.0 so guys make sure you guys do listen up and we will get straight into the video so guys all you guys got to do is download and install all the requirements and once you guys do that download this mod or leave it in some description once you guys finish with that I have already downloaded the mod so I don't need to do it so guys, all you guys got to do now is go to your Grand Theft Auto V game, right click, open file location, and then as you guys can see, I have got a complete clean folder, okay? There's absolutely no mods in here except for the mods folder. So guys, all you guys got to do before you install all the requirements, make sure you make sure if you guys are using a clean folder, make sure you, you connect your open IV to your GTA V folder. So let's go do that first. Open up your open IV. Go to Grand Theft Auto V Windows. Now guys, it will start loading. Okay, it all depends on your PC performance. Once it opens, go to your tools. Go to ASI Manager. And then we are going to install our ASI Loader. And install your OpenIV.ASI. Then now uh, install Open Camera and then close. And that's all you guys gotta do. And now exit out of your OpenIV. Now the next thing we are going to do, guys, is install our requirements. So make sure you guys have downloaded all of the latest requirements, okay? So make sure that they are all the latest. Now go to your script hook V and then now go to your bin folder now select input 8.dll and script hook v.dll drag both files inside your gta v main directory now this application will pop up all you gotta do is replace the files now guys the next thing we are going to do is open up your script hook v.net extract folder and select script hook v.net.asi.dll and .xml drag those three files inside your GTA V main directory now guys we are going to install our trainers so select your trainer v extract folder then select trainer v.asi and trainer v.ini and drag both files inside your GTA V main directory. Then open up your menu extract folder and select menu stuff folder and menu.asi and drag both files inside your GTA V main directory. Now guys this is optional you can download it and install it if you want to but we will but guys we are going to install map reveal and open interiors i will leave this inside my description below in my downloads open up your map reveal and open interiors extract folder and copy all three files and drag them all inside your gta v main directory now guys Open up the latest native UI.dll extract folder. Now leave it there. Go to your GTA V main directory. Right click, refresh your folder, and then right click again and create a new folder and name that folder scripts. 
press enter once and press enter again go back to your your extra folder and then make sure you click on your native ui.dll and drag it into your scripts folder if you guys don't know if you got the latest version or not then all you guys gotta do is go and hover over native ui.dll right click go to properties and then go to details and it will say in file version 1.8 so i have the latest version once you guys complete that now all you guys got to do is go to your executive business extract folder open up the executive business extract folder and then open up the executive folder that is inside the extract folder so guys there's a few things that we had to do here make sure you select executive business folder and executive business .dll and open 60 card garage.i9 drag those three files inside your scripts folder now guys open up your disable business.i9 now what we are going to do guys is that we are going to go to recommend uh, before you guys do anything okay make sure that you click on disable business.i9 and then now drag it onto your desktop now right click okay guys right click and edit with notepad if you don't have notepad then just double click on it and then now so guys over here guys it's like here false and true if you guys don't know what is the meaning of false and true then i will tell you guys now false is like you don't want that mod to appear on the map and true is you want that mod to appear on the map so uh so this is all about the executive business so we're gonna have this all false now guys over here as you guys can see it says true false 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 true and true so if you guys want the maze bank or whatever business you want open then you can leave it on true but I'm going to leave the maze bank on, on true because I I want the maze bank, okay? Only the maze bank. Guys, if you guys have all this on, have if you guys have all this on true, all this on true, then you may experience FPS drop. So make sure you guys choose which business you want and then now make make the rest false except for these last two because you need your warehouse and your sub business too. So make sure you guys find which business you want and then now um, leave it as true and all the rest, okay, make sure it is false, okay. If you leave the other three on true, then you will experience FPS drop, okay. So make sure you guys leave uh, our find one that you want and leave it on true. So go down guys, okay. And then now make sure you find some other stuff that you don't want and now leave it on false like this one over here i don't want i don't have um put on false um hold on guys anymore polluted bay bunker i don't need that set down false uh, okay, so guys, just keep finding, uh, finding the one. Okay, guys, I don't. I'm. I am only doing this for the executive business. That's it, not for all the business. Uh, okay, true, true, yes, true. Maze Bank. So guys, all you guys gotta do now is just exit out of it and save it. And now drag this file inside your scripts folder guys and then now uh, all you guys gotta do next is go to your main gta v uh, directory right click refresh quit out of there now quit out of here guys now guys if you guys want to make sure that your fps doesn't doesn't drop too fast then go back to your grand theft auto v game open file location Go to your scripts folder, go to your executive business folder, and then now delete everything except for now. If you guys are using um using MazeBank, okay, then 
you can keep Maze Bank, okay? So Maze Bank um, Garage, we want to keep. And Maze Bank, there you go. And Warehouses, we want to keep. Now over here it says Main, leave Main on. And now Maze Bank over here. And in our Maze Bank over here, I mean the Warehouse. So guys, make sure, make sure you guys delete the ones, okay? Delete them. Delete the executive business that you don't want, okay? And then now, there you go, guys. And now we are leaving the main ones there. Now, all you guys gotta do now is quit out of here. Make sure that you guys do not delete your executive business extract folder because just in case, if you guys want to uh, change the warehouse, and now you guys can. Open up that and then now open up your executive business folder. Then now go back to here and then now you guys can just paste whatever business you want you guys to change, okay? So guys, that is it for the, the tutorial and now we are going to go in the game. Welcome back guys. So guys, we are here with Franklin and we are going to go and showcase you guys the business. So before we do guys, most importantly, before you guys do go into the business, press F4 first, then go to teleporting, go to other teleports, which is down the bottom over here on the other side, and then now go down in the middle somewhere, guys, and now it says enable MP maps. Hover over enable MP maps and then press 5 to activate it. So, guys, your game will freeze for only a few seconds. So here we go guys, the game will freeze for a few seconds. And now you guys are free to go to your business. So as you guys can see on the map, that I only have the maze bank there because that is what I ordered. I ordered the maze bank only. So we're gonna go here guys. So, so guys, as you guys can see that my FPS isn't really dropping. It's only because that I have um removed all the other business so we're gonna go over there guys okay we're gonna just teleport there we're not gonna drive there and now here it goes guys in three two one and now we've got to press e to go in and now guys as you guys can see that it works okay it 100 percent works you can go outside on a roof and over here guys you can change your guns your weapons uh, MK2 weapons or your normal weapons and over here guys you can go to the vault too and you can put your money in the vault but you gotta buy it first so you can't put the money in the vault so over here guys we've got a few things over here press E organization options you can change your design we're gonna change it to just to give you guys uh, just to give you guys proof that it works, so let's just try Old Spice Warm. And now you will totally put outside because it will activate it again. Go back inside and you guys will see that your design has changed. So there you go guys, my design has changed. Now let's go and go back here over here guys, okay. And now you can purchase option, buy or sell. Um, Make sure you, you guys go to purchase option first. Expand business. Now guys with this, people have been having trouble with this. Make sure you upgrade your business with upgrade one first and then you then now guys after that go to upgrade two, three, four. Don't go straight to twenty eight. Guys, don't go straight to twenty because so because guys look at this. If you do, it was it will say sorry boss, you will have to purchase the previous upgrade. Which means you have to start with number one, two, three, four, and head your way up to 20. Make sure you guys have millions of dollars or billions because this will use up a lot of money. Okay, guys. Now, over here, we got Money Vault. This is where you can buy the Money Vault, guys, to use the Money Vault. Gun Locker, this is where you can buy it. Okay, guys. And you can, and you guys can buy, buy a business, a myth business, if you guys want to. Now product option guys, this is to sell and buy. If you guys know how to trade, 
okay if you guys know if you guys know more about trading then you guys would know how to buy and sell okay um source uh you can source a vehicle so let's go and source a vehicle okay uh let's go over here source a vehicle and then now uh, there you go guys now open up your map guys and now uh, there goes the vehicle is right over here guys so that's so guys that's how you do guys mission does work okay guys all these mission does work okay now lose the vehicle it's right in front of us right there uh so guys that is that okay you guys saw that um uh, that the mission works okay but um but the guy got away so um yeah so yeah the, the guy got away with the car <laughs> so yeah he's pretty far so so yeah i'm not gonna bother chasing him so you guys um as you guys can see that the mission does work now we're gonna go into the garage to see if the cards do work okay so go over here go to the garage press e and as you guys can see that the garage do work okay see uh you can go upstairs too there's some vehicles upstairs you guys can just take them take the vehicles out and just sell them if you want to so you guys there's some vehicles up here and some more up here i think i think there is but some doesn't oh yeah so you guys see uh there's some vehicles up here too so yeah guys everything is stocked up and even everything works too guys so yeah so guys with that i said i hope you guys did enjoy the video if you guys did smash that like button and subscribe for more daily gaming content and tutorials so guys if you guys need any help on how to install this mod then please let me know in the comments and i'll be more than welcome to help you guys out so guys with that i said thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video peace and i'm out okay.